All right, so I just wanted to kind of show you that really nice kind of finish that we're just putting on this to seal it. It just shows a lot of depth, really brings out the, the colors of the rust and, and the surface rust and kind of the old paint that's there. It, it just, I think it looks really cool. The product we are using is a Galmet uh, metal protection. It's an ironized rust converter and sealer. And you basically, this, yeah, just kills all rust and it seals really well. But what I wanted to show you is just kind of how I apply it and the, and the difference. So I'll just give you an idea what one side looks like to the other. So this is just a stock Model A hood that I have. I just have some little red scotch brights that I just cut out and fit onto my sander. What I'll do is I'll just hit it just to knock off a bit of that kind of top surface. The cool thing about using this versus like say 320 or 240 or something um, with, a, with an, uh, a soft pad is this isn't really knocking off any of the, the patina that's kind of there. It's just taking off that little bit of surface rust that's on the top, just kind of getting rid of that grit. So you can already see, like that's taken off a ton of that scale and kind of just top, top coat. So what I'm gonna do is dab a little bit in there. You don't need a whole lot. This stuff dries pretty quickly too, so you kind of want to keep your area like relatively small. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to get off, like to get the, a little bit of that, that off there. And you can kind of do like multiple passes. Um, I'm going to just try and keep this a little bit wet just so it doesn't dry so quickly. Just going to work it into the metal. You can kind of go in one direction, swirls. I don't know. I don't think there's any rules on how to apply it. And like you could just leave it like this and just let it dry if you wanted that kind of, I suppose, brushed look. Um, but it will stay relatively shiny just because of how much product is on there. You can kind of see it starts to turn that rust like, like a real dark purple, almost black. So you can tell it's converting it. Uh, a tip with the rags, try not to have ones that are like real fluffy if you can, because you don't really want heaps of little hairs and stuff getting dried in it. And it's relatively easy to wipe off if it's still a little bit wet. I think even using like a damp rag would, um, would work as well. So we'll just let that dry for five minutes and then I'll just show you both sides what it's gonna look like. So it's kind of hard to see in this lighting but you kind of get the idea what that looks like. Then you come on this side. So it still has like, you know, all your patina and all the worn in bits. Um, and yeah, you don't lose any of that. You're just kind of sealing it and almost like, I can open this up a bit more. So you can see it's very, it's just got that like tinge of brown to it and it feels real dry obviously leaves tons on your hands and this has just got a little bit of a sheen to it but it's way darker it feels really nice like you can't scratch it it's got like it obviously doesn't have anything to come on your hands but I don't know I just really like the way it looks I think it just kind of like it's like when you take like a old Chesterfield and it's real dry and then you go and oil it or like a pair of boots like my Red Wings like I love giving him a fresh oil and it like absorbs in and shows like all the detail and stuff. Like when you put clear coat over your, um, your base coat, like it just shows everything, like gives it depth. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm kind of geeking out on it, but I just think it looks really neat. I really like it. I think this whole build is basically gonna be built around an old Chesterfield. Um, like not to the rivets and all the stuff, but just 
where they're usually placed, who like, you know, like they're always in that real nice dark areas, like a whiskey bar or something. They always smell really nice. They're always oiled. They always just look look nice, but vintage and still show a lot of wear. Show, they show a story, you know? So I don't know, I mean, I'm talking shit, 